So now that we've covered some of the various components that are involved in booting a Linux operating system, I'd like to take some time and look at some of our troubleshooting options. Now, as I showed you before, one of the more valuable boot logging capabilities is the dmessage command that's available so you can view the boot log. So always keep that in mind when you're running into issues. If you can get to any kind of command line or shell, it's a good opportunity to use the dmessage command to actually troubleshoot. Now, if you need to, you can actually look at the actual text file, dmessage, in the var log directory. I definitely recommend that where possible, you take the time to fiddle around with Lilo and Grub, see what kind of problems you can create, and see if you can undo those problems. I definitely recommend taking some time to learn installing both Lilo and Grub, as we've talked about previously. In addition, always remember some of your boot options for fail-safe and rescue mode that will allow you to get into your system when the normal boot options fail. Anytime you do any major recompilations of the kernel or any software installations that require a recompilation of the kernel, it's important to rerun the Lilo command. Because Lilo has limited configuration capabilities, your best bet is to just rerun it and hope that it actually adapts to any changes made to the system. In addition, remember your grub commands that are available to you. You can always drop back into the grub prompt and actually make configuration changes there. Also, definitely remember how to reinstall grub if that is a necessity for you during the troubleshooting process. Anytime you run into some graphical command issues, it's always helpful to drop into run level 3 and troubleshoot those graphical issues because run level 3 is basically a text mode so you don't have to boot in X windows. So we'll just take a look at that real quick. And our system's actually booting up right now and once it boots up it's going to go ahead and boot up into X windows. And we'll just pretend like we actually have a problem and I'll show you how to drop back into run level 3 which is going to be our text command line mode. So we'll go ahead and log into our system. And as we talked about, right now this delay process is actually running our various logon scripts and it's creating our environment for us. This includes the X Windows configuration file and a host of other KDE based components. So we can assume that we're having those problems we're having some issues with our graphical environment, even though we're not, and we'll need to drop back into run level 3. So we'll simply run the init 3 command, and it actually takes a few moments for it to drop out of the X Windows session and back into run level 3. So then we'll log back on, and now we have a command line that will assist us in troubleshooting any problems that we might have. In this example, we might actually drop back to the X11 directory and we've got our available configuration files here. So we can drop in and let's say for example we weren't happy with our 640 by 480 resolution and luckily, we can actually make those changes using a text editor. So you can see, if we scroll down our file, those settings are actually happening right here. So each of our settings are actually configured for 640 by 480. We could simply go change those to our desired resolution, and we should be all set.